Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm going to be addressing the iPhone email not working problem that many iPhone uh, users seem to be having. So the issue that you may be coming across is that you go to send an email, um, but it's just not sending out of the app box, or also you're not receiving any emails as well. So the first thing I do recommend, and this is also a really great step if you come across any bugs or any temporary glitches on your iPhone device, and that is to simply go ahead and restart the iPhone. So much like when you have a computer that's malfunctioning, you just wanna go ahead and restart it, and the exact same applies for the iPhone as well. So if you have the iPhone 7 and above, you wanna go ahead and press the button, the volume up button, the volume down button, and then the lock screen button, and you wanna hold on to that, and that will go ahead and restart your iPhone device. So I'll just go ahead and do that now, and you wanna do this very quickly, and I'm just going to press and hold. And if I keep pressing and holding, it will go ahead and restart the device. Um, but just for the sake of this video, I won't go ahead and do that. And if you have an older device, I believe iPhone 6 and below, you can restart your iPhone by pressing and holding the home button and the lock screen together for about 15 seconds until the iPhone powers down. So once you do that, that should hopefully remove any temporary glitches uh, on the iPhone and also the email app on your device. So if that still doesn't work, the next thing I recommend doing is to go into the settings and you just wanna scroll all the way down to passwords and accounts. Now, once you're in here, you wanna to go to your kind of email account. So at the moment, I have Yahoo. So I'm just going to go into here. Now, once I'm in here, I just wanna go ahead and actually delete my account from the email app. And this does sound a bit drastic, but many times there actually may be um, login failures or there actually may be issues with the email provider itself. So it doesn't matter if you're using Yahoo, Gmail, or Hotmail, there actually may be an issue on their end, and you actually may have to go ahead and delete the account, and then re-add it and log in. And nine times out of 10, this will actually resolve the issue, and this has worked for me many times before. So to delete your account, you just wanna go ahead and press delete, and then you wanna go ahead and re-add it as well. Okay guys, so if none of those steps have worked for you so far, the last thing you wanna try is actually to go ahead and reset the network settings on your iPhone device. So this kind of works to remove any temporary glitches that you may be having with your cellular, Wi-Fi, or also the mail app as well. Um, but just be warned, if you do go ahead and reset the network settings, you will lose all of the passwords to your Wi-Fi. Um, so make sure you write that down before you go ahead and do this, because you will kind of not be able to log back into your Wi-Fi, and you will also not be able to check your email as well. So just be warned if you wanna go ahead and do this step, um, but this step has been proven to work quite successfully, um, so it is worth giving a try as well. So to go ahead and reset network settings, you wanna go into general, and then you wanna go down to reset, and then you wanna go to reset network settings, and you just wanna go ahead and put in your passcode, and then you wanna go ahead and confirm those changes. So I'm not going to reset the network settings um, for this video, as I'm not currently having this issue, um, but if you are, that's a really, really awesome trick that you can try. So there you have it, guys. There's three simple steps that you can try to hopefully remedy the email app not working on the iPhone device. So if any of these have worked for you, please share your fix down below. And also, if you have come up with your own fix, also please share that down below as it will be helping hundreds, if not thousands of other iPhone users as well. So again, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.